Hey everybody, it's Angel from Halo Inspirations. We give you inspirations to help you spread beauty and joy through your quilting journey. Happy hump day, whoop whoop. Happy Wednesday to each and every one of you. Glad to see you're here, Sherry. If you're here, let us know that you're here. I'm doing my best to watch both sides here, but I do have Sherry on board helping me keep straight because you know how that can go. But, so thank you, Sherry, I appreciate it. If I miss something, she'll let me know. <laughs> At any rate, welcome, welcome. We had a video drop this morning. It was all about the quarter inch seam. A little bit of sewing straight because I use guides that helps you sew your seam straight. And um, hello there, mom, glad to see you. And uh, a, just a tidbit of pressing, not a whole lot, because we're going to do some more pressing next week when we finish up our um, topper. It'll just be a top at the end, at the end of next week, and we I will be going through basting and, and um, doing some easy quilting to go along with it. I haven't decided how to quilt it yet. You know, I'm one of those that have to see it. I have a feeling I know what I'm going to do but I want to see it first. So look forward to that. So it was all about the quarter inch seam. <clears throat> I know it was long I, and that's why I separated it. Can you imagine doing the top or two? <laughs> so um, at any rate, I did have a couple of things as usual to add. <laughs> as long as it was, I still have some more. And then I'm going to get to a new product, which have already had uh, a question and mom, I will address it. I noticed that Mar uh, monkey Mary did for us. I did not catch it until like, I don't even know, two minutes before we went live. So I do apologize for not getting back. You're not very good at keeping a quarter inch seam. It's all about the guides. Just saying. They are amazing. True story. Now, sometimes they can get a little finicky um, going back and forth. And, and I'm going to I'm going to share something today about if you don't have a, a gauge and you're using your ruler. I didn't mention it. I said it in words, but I just want to do a little bit of a um, was making sure I had something to point with <laughs> a little bit of um, demonstration. Just a, just a tid. OK. So I want to remind everybody, if you have any questions, comments, don't hesitate to drop them in um, the comments, whether you're on Facebook or YouTube, especially those questions. Go ahead and keep them coming. I will go and check. And Sherry, if you will remind me if I forget. <laughs> when there are questions, I, I will go back at some point and look, okay? Because this is important. The quarter inch seam... <sighs> You know, I, I can't tell you how many times I do. I'm doing a class this tomorrow here in the shop because I have so many people that struggle with that quarter inch seam and how to get it. And or they don't even realize it's a quarter inch seam. Maybe their blocks just aren't coming out the right size. And after conversation and asking questions, that's where I figure it out. It's usually the quarter inch seam because we are all focused on having the quarter inch be a quarter inch. They line it up on a ruler. They line it up underneath their foot. They line it up somewhere, but they don't measure the blocks to be sure that that's what your fabric is telling you. So this topic is huge. Now I want to say, saying this, there are a lot of blocks that you will make that as long as you're consistently inconsistent, it's okay. You may not have a four and a half inch block when you're done, but as long as they're all the same, a lot of blocks, it's okay. There are a few blocks that really make a difference. Now, if you're just a little off, if you're consistently inconsistent, it's really okay in a lot of places. And it'll also mean that your quilt top won't finish at the suggested I'm going to put those in air quotes, <laughs> um, measurement. So if it tells you it's going to end at 60 by 60 and your quarter inch seam is consistently off, you're not going to have a quilt top that is 60 by 60. Every single block that you put together, be smaller 
or bigger. We're going to go with smaller because that's usually where it's at. Um, and then the next one and the next one and the next one, it eventually makes everything smaller. But is it the end of the world? No. A lot of times it's not. Consistently inconsistent. That would be you most of the time. But you got to be consistent in your inconsistency. <laughs> That's the key. <laughs> so if you're just a little off every time, usually it's okay. I shouldn't say usually. A lot of times it's okay. Um, so you don't have to get too strung up about it. And the bottom line is, and mom, you'll appreciate this. The bottom line is, if in fact you... Um, are happy, that's all that matters. Plain and simple. I need to go back over here for a second. I even I haven't even heard from Sherry. Okay. Oh, there it is. I'm like, where is this sucker? Okay. <clears throat> Just want to check. Oh, I need to turn my sound off. That was rude. I'm so sorry. Um, very good. Just want to make sure I'm still, I'm still okay. <laughs> Okay, so as a reminder of the, what I call the four, I don't know what word I'm going to use, um, what's column, you know, pedestal, uh, there's a word for it. Words are hard today. I'm still dealing with sinuses. Um, but the four pillars, there it is. I knew it started with a P. So the four pillars I say to successful piecing are prepping, which we discussed in the first video, um, cutting which is huge because it won't matter if you cut your blocks wrong, your quarter inch seam ain't going to matter. I mean, you can actually adjust for your miscuts, you know, see how they measure, make your seam bigger or smaller. But getting that nice cut really does make your um, piecing more enjoyable. Sewing, which includes that quarter inch, which is huge, and also a straight line. That's a true story too. Um, and then of course, pressing. So I, I hit on that sewing a straight line and basically that's where the guides come in. That's the way I get to sew with a straight line. I'm not too shabby with a foot, but I don't like to think. So I like to put that guide down and send it with a guide, making sure they stay flush because I know it's, then it's straight. And then of course, um, pressing will do more of next week. I promise. Happiness is all that matters. Yes, it's very true, Sherry. That is all that matters. Happiness. Happiness is key. This is our, this is our happy place. It's key. So I, I did want to touch on, um, why I use the guides that I do or even what I suggested. So I use the seam guides by guidelines for quilting. These were, they were not my first, okay? My first one was this. And there is, well darn, I don't want to open a package. There is a dramatic difference in thickness, okay? Okay, I'm going to have to open a new pack. Well darn. <laughs> I'll show them underneath the camera because I think it's important. Uh, because... This is what I started with. This is actually by Ideal Seam Guy, by, uh, no, that's not true. It's by So Very Smooth. They are the same maker. This is made by the same uh, company that makes my purple Ideal Seam gauge, okay? And it works. And I unfortunately never really got into all the things you could do with it because if you notice one edge is curved, this one's straight. There's like things you can do. Um, I just used it as a guide. The, but then when I found these little guys, it like was this eye opener crazy thing for me. You have them, but you can't find them. Imagine that, Mom. <laughs> they will help. <laughs> so um, I'm going to show underneath the camera exactly why I prefer this. Now, if you don't have these I'm, I remember I'm all I know that's a crazy thing to say from a quilt shop but I understand how resourceful it's one of the things about quilters that I love y'all are extremely resourceful the way I use this can also be used 
with this, okay? The, the hotel key from Bonnie Hunter, her concept, or an old credit card. It too is thin, and I'll, I'm going to share with you why it's important. And then last but not least, painter's tape. These are, I have rolls of this in my sewing studio. I have them in the coop in our classroom. So if we're doing something together that requires something that would make it a little easier with some painter's tape, I got plenty of it. If you do, it's a great resource. I just made it thicker by first putting three strips together. Okay, because one strip is not enough and you'll find that your fabric keeps going over it. So I put three strips together before I put it down. Okay, you could you could do four, you could do five, you could do as many as you want. Three worked really well, I have to say. But you want that lip. You want enough for the fabric to, it won't slide over it as you're using it as a guide. Because I really do push that fabric next to it so that it's nice and straight. Okay, so, um, but each one of these things, the tape, the card, the seam guide, by guidelines, the thin ones, are fantabulous, okay? And I'm going to show you underneath the camera, first the difference in thickness. I'm going to open a package. Well, darn. Okay. <clears throat> okay. And then I will demonstrate why it's important. Now, can, can you use this? Yeah, I did for years. I did my first video with this, guys, um, because it works. There's just a small difference. Okay, anything can be a guide. All right, let's see. They fell into that black hole with all the other things you can't find. <laughs> yes. <laughs> yes, we all have that black hole. And sometimes the black hole is awful because you spend so much time looking for something and you've wasted a lot of time in frustration. <laughs> all right, so let me switch cameras I'm going to do this a couple of times today. Uh, whew, hope that's not too bright. You'll have to let me know. All right, so here we go. So first and foremost, here is the package that I just opened. You do get six, I think. One, two, three. Yep, you get six in a package. The one really cool thing about this is you saw me unstick it and stick it again. You can reuse them. Uh, several times eventually the stick goes away and I will tell you when I find that perfect quarter inch I don't move the booger it stays until it's it's just it's just bad right I try to use these as long as possible and I do have a brand new thing to do with them um, I was teaching uh, last Saturday and I figured out something to, else to do with it so you'll see that in the in the near future so um they're thin. That's it. Okay. Here's the other one. Look at the difference. Here is why I prefer the thin. So we're putting it down. These are on the sewing machine. If you're wondering what this little niche is, it's for your presser foot so that you don't cover, if it happens to be in this area, you don't cover your feed dogs if you're over that far. I've never been over that far, but that's what it's for. I do tend to do it um, if I had my walking foot I would have this nooch. Okay, if I were to pin fabric, <clears throat> um, here we go. I'll just get the blocks. We'll just get the blocks that I used. So I'm just going to pretend to pin. Well, I'm not pretending to pin. I'm really pinning. Okay. We'll put one more in the middle. All right. So you're going along your sewing machine. I'm going to push this up a little. Look what happens. This is so thick, okay, that my needle, my pins, if I put it on top, my fabric's not flat, okay? So what I did for years and years and years, I'm right-handed, but I learned to pin like a left-handed person so that when I was stitching uh, with this guide, it was nice and flat, my fabric was, and, the, and it wouldn't distort how it was going along the side here okay and it's funny because when i got these i had to learn how to pin like a right hand person all right so if you're right-handed you'll appreciate this this is why i love the little thinness 
as we're coming along and you are st stitching stitching and you're putting this in look it rides nice and even and flat next to and you're going to see this next week when i do it okay because i will be pinning so it rides nice and flat the fabric is still flat this is only 1 of an inch thick okay so it's nice and flat enough or skinny enough for my pins to ride over okay first and foremost guess what it works with a credit card too or a hotel key look at that nice and flat and the pin goes right over top of it guess what works real good with painters tape too even though i have a lip of three layers it's nice and flat with the fabric and the pin just glides right over the top of it so this is why i really enjoy something that's more flat or thin i should say i keep saying flat but definitely because this is flat it's not wrinkled um thinner i like them thinner for the pin so it doesn't do any you know distorting of my fabric as it's going through the sewing machine under the needle it's very very important and i can take this pin up until i reach my needle and then i can pull and you'll like i said you'll see that next week okay so let me go back here got to figure out how to do all this okay <clears throat> okay here we go oh that was that's an annoying thing i know i let me try and get that out okay 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 hopefully i said it enough that you won't hear it again almost did it so that is exactly why i like the guides that i have number one they're reusable and number two um they're thin and that's why okay i didn't address that before so the thing that i talked about too was which tape and this is funny i was looking at this tape this is the tape i thought that bonnie hunter suggested it is double-sided and it's made by scotch tape and it's funny because now i question this i've been i do use this still but it's it says at the very top that it's permanent well this ain't permanent but the cool thing is number one it will it will work a couple of times okay and it doesn't leave any residual that's important we don't want that sticky stuff left on our machine okay it's very inexpensive that's a bonus right but you can put it on the back of the card and it's it's sticky on this side and it sticks to the card okay so you can put it down on your machine and pull it up when you need it and don't want it anymore right or you know needs to be out of the way you don't need that lip being in the way of some stitching so this is a very very good um resourceful idea okay <clears throat> love it so i just wanted to mention i did find it it's scotch tape it's double-sided um i i think the package might say that there's no residual but i was floored when it says permanent because i didn't find that it was permanent so take it for what it's worth um but those are the guides that is the tape I left some notes for myself so I can keep on track. Let me just go make sure I didn't see anything. Oh, I keep moving that. I don't need to. Okay, we are good to go. Whoops. Nope, don't do that. Oh, boy. See, this is, this is why sometimes I should not be in charge of technology. Okay. Oh, I said it again. So I use those guides. Um, oh, I did mention too why I wasn't sure what the differences were in other gauges. Okay. And I found this one to be my absolute favorite. Now I want to tell you, I've had this for years, but they did. I will also tell you these markings are more clear. Yes, mine's older, but they actually changed the marking. So they made them more bright i don't know how long the bright lasts because i don't have a new one but i i see people all the time i also say the purples uh the the purple is a little different too it's a lot more see-through so that might help with some of the markings but at any rate i got to thinking about it and it actually might have been why there was a larger gap 
um, when I sewed the first time on the quarter inch with this because that was a little bigger than I was used to. Um, but it's all about the holes, I think. So there's a little bit of wiggle room with your needle in the hole. So if you push it more towards the outside or more towards the inside, it's going to change the center, the quarter inch seam. So you want to make sure when you're measuring that you do it up and down perfectly straight and you're not moving the needle with it because it will move with the needle and there's just a little bit of wiggle room. I think some of the other gauges that I utilized had bigger holes. Now that's a nice thing to be able to see without glasses, I'm sure. However, I think that might have been why I like this one better. I'm not positive. I will dig out old gauges that I have. I've given some of them away because I didn't like them that much. Some of them I just put somewhere. Oh, they're in that black hole. They're in my black hole. Um, but if I can find them, I'll actually look at the holes because I think that might be the key. So talked about that one. Um, so far, I see no questions still. That's good or bad. I'm not sure. Um, I do also want to reiterate, and this is kind of important. So again, I'm going to bring you down underneath the needle or camera. <laughs> I'm going to put you under a needle. Okay. One of the things you saw me use two, two and a half inch squares to measure my quarter inch. I do that a lot because there's a lot of two and a half inch squares in a lot of projects. I tend to go with whatever the project dictates. Okay. So you will find that some people will tell you to take three one and a half inch strips and sew those together to test your quarter inch seam. Okay. I will do this if I'm using one and a half inch strips. Squares are a little funny because there's not much there. And man, you got to have it nailed, right? Straight, accurate, ready to go. <laughs> but I will do this. Now, sometimes I would find this to be a little bit more frustrating to find it. But I will tell you through time, it gets easier because it got easier for me. But what I want to show you under the camera is exactly what should be your measurements when you do it. Because remember, the two and a half inch squares put together, that seam should line up on the valley side at two and a quarter. Okay? Well, we don't have that with three and a half inch strips. But if you put all three, oh goodness, I'm not going to be able to see. So I'm going to have to move over. <laughs> all right. If you put three two and a half inch strips together they should measure at three and a half um, I'm sorry yeah that's right three and this white line I don't know if you can see it if you do the little thing on YouTube you'll be able to see it <laughs> but this white line is half of six and a half which is three and a quarter it always throws me off so this is a three and a half inch line right here Okay, so you want, you want your blocks to measure at three and a half inches. The important thing to note is the first seam should be one and a quarter. The second seam should be two and a quarter. So that means the center strip should measure an inch. Okay, first one should measure one and a quarter. This should measure an inch. And then this should be one and a quarter, but it will be the seams are at the one and a quarter and the two and a quarter, and then it should finish at three and a half. Okay. And that's how you know your quarter inch is a okay and on board. Okay. So I wanted to mention that because you will see that you will see a various, a number of people who prefer to sew three one and a half inch strips together and measure where their seams are and making sure their seams are straight. That's another one. 
Um, now notice mine end at four and a quarter. Can I tell you why? I miscut. I had two of them cut at four and a half. I was going to do four and a half and one at four and a quarter. So I had to chop them all down. So that's why that's like that. But at any rate, that is um, the three one and a half inch strip method. Okay. It's a great method. But like I said, if I'm, if I'm using predominantly um, two and a half inch squares, then I'll just do two and a half inch squares to measure my quarter inch. <clears throat> But I wanted to go over that because you will see it. Okay. Oh, I did it again. Goodness, I'm okay in all kinds of times today. All right. <laughs> Change the word. <laughs> um, last but not least, this is very important. I'm showing you my method. There are a zillion, billion methods in quilting. If you are happy with your results, don't change. If you're getting your blocks just the way you like them, don't change. If you're struggling and you see what I'm doing and you tried it, but then you try somebody else's and theirs made more sense in your brain, use the one that makes more sense. There are no rules in quilting. Well, that's, there's only one and that's to be happy, right? There's only guidelines, guys. So there are a zillion methods to getting the results that you want. And this was mine. And it's, it's something that I teach. It's something, you know, when I'm, when I do some education, I do talk about it um, a lot. I talk about it a lot. But um, I don't want you to think that this is that I think there's, this is the only true tried method. And I don't want you to think this is the only way everybody does it because something might work better for your brain. So <clears throat> at any rate, Hey there, Andrew, glad to see you. We are glad you are here too. Where are you from? Just out of curiosity. Uh, so we went through all the extra stuff with the quarter inch seam and like I said if you're watching the hashtag replay um, don't hesitate if you have a question ask that's what we're here for that is exactly what we're here for speaking of that I want to say yesterday was Sherry's birthday so happy birthday to you happy birthday to you happy birthday dear sherry happy birthday to you sherry is a member here of the halo team and she answers probably 90 percent of the comments that come through on youtube um yeah probably 90 percent for me uh if she can't or sometimes i catch something and i want to then I, I will definitely do it. And then sometimes she she would rather, it would be better if I did because it's something I get and it's something she hasn't done or, you know, something along that line. So she'll text me and say, hey, there's a question or a comment out there. Can you address it? So thank you, Sherry, for all your help with Halo. Um, it, it does help to, I know personally, there's nothing worse than asking a question and you never, ever, ever, ever get the answer. So um, uh, thank you to Sherry for helping us keep up because with 6,100 followers, it, it gets difficult at times to do that. So um, thank you very much and happy birthday to you, girly. You mean the world to us. I'm going to cry. I'm, I'm trying not to. Okay. I did it again. <laughs> this is, today is the okay day. Sorry. <laughs> All right, so what we want to do now is just shift some gears a little bit. I didn't see, oh, Texas between Houston and Galveston. Beautiful area. Beautiful area of the world. We were just down there in October. Well, we were in Houston in October. So, um, and just so you know, my mom says happy birthday also, Miss Sherry. I think you're watching Facebook for me too, but... At any rate, uh, beautiful area. I'm glad you could join us, Andrea. So nice to have you here from Texas. Good old Texas. Love me some Texas. Love some Texas. I've, I've lived there twice. So some, some ways I miss it. 
sometimes not so much because it gets really hot. At any rate, we are going into the, I am going to let you know that we have a new product. There's a couple of new products that I haven't talked about, but um, that are on the What's New tab for Halo Inspirations. And Sherry, could you drop a link on both um, YouTube and Facebook, the haloinspired.com forward slash um, forward slash shop. You know what you could do? Yeah. And then you could go to the what's new tab and then highlight the, the, the link there in the, in, you know, up, up in the search bar and then post it. Cause then it'll give them the what's new tab because that's, that's really key to seeing what's new. And if you're new to Halo, of course you want to look at all the other tabs. And FYI, I'm going to do a video on how to use our website. Um, we are updating it. Hopefully it'll be done by the end of the year. Uh, it seems to be that every two years we have to update our website. But until then, I want to give a little instruction because there are some things that people aren't realizing um, the features that are out there. So I think it's important that I show you. So eventually I'm going to do that um, for a video and let you know how to use it. But in the What's New tab, we do have this beautiful machine. It's called the Little Rebel. And it's by the Grace Company. So we have officially became, uh, earlier this month, just a couple weeks ago, uh, we became a Grace dealer which I'm very excited about. I have been dealing with Grace as a consumer for years. My Juki, Juki and Grace have a relationship and both of my Juki long arms sit or have sat on a Grace frame, okay? The frame is made for the Juki machine by Grace and their customer service is awesome. It is through the roof setting um, the example for others, it is amazing, their customer services. And I will also say on my Juki, there's a little screen that you touch that, um, you know, it, it, how, how big you change, how big you want your stitches. Uh, it'll actually now tracks how much thread is being used. Um, it turns the light on and off thread cuts, all the, the little screen that has all the buttons, that's actually made by Grace. Uh, it's a Grace product that is on the Juki. So I've dealt with Grace for a number of years as a consumer. So going into a dealership was not hard because I know that they they believe in the quilter, they believe in the industry, and they believe in the sewing peeps. They just love what they do. And they're very good at it. And their customer service, if I have to tell you to call Grace... I, well, I have. I've told people, oh, call Grace. I know that you're going to be good because they are amazing. They are absolutely amazing. Okay, so the Little Rebel is their brand new machine that just came out. And I know, Mom, that you did ask um, a demo video would be great. It's coming, Mom, I promise. And then Sherry says, I was surprised to see so few of your live with so many subs. I have been on replays, but I have never caught a live. Well, part of it's, I think, the time. Um, 3 p.m. on a Wednesday isn't always the best time. Um, I'm entertaining other times, but not for the live Q&A. Um, but nice note. Yes. Uh, at any rate... Um, Back to what I was saying about the little rebel, right? It was saying something, but it's gone. So it's a brand new, brand new um, machine. Um, I've only stitched with s scraps, okay? <laughs> and I still have finesse, which is their graces. Um, it's made by um, it's made by uh, Wonderfill. But it's their, finesse is their line of thread. So I put it in there to figure out how to stitch with the machine. But I need to load it with Orofil because I'm an Orofil girl. And um, Orofil's cotton. And this that they have uh, is uh, poly. So it's very different for me. I had to wrap my head around that. Um, 
but it works and it's nice and it's pretty and it feels good and it looks good but I'm an Orofill girl so I got to get the Orofill loaded and I will be doing a demo when I figure out more uh, me using it I don't want you to watch this person be like oh don't do that <laughs> of course you might anyway um but I will be doing a demo with it and it will become part some of my videos will be used with this thing okay instead of my singer sometimes I will revert to the singer it just depends this is only a straight stitch where my singer has the blanket and the zigzag so you will be seeing both okay so mom you asked a couple of questions customer service means a lot it really does hello there amy glad to see you girl out there in wisconsin if i can remember correctly yes we would be best friends i saw your comment um oh and i just got a yep thank you very much sherry just got your text so at any rate glad to see you amy so the little rebel let's go through some of these things because mom you did ask a question i'm going to hit it and i'm also I, I didn't put this in a note so i'm going to tackle the wine the bobbin winder first because i'll forget so it does have a great bobbin winder and if you can see the tree up there okay it has two hooks okay one is for threading to the machine to the needle and the other one is for the bobbin winder. So you can have two spools, one going to the bobbin winder and one going to the needle, okay? You don't need to do that. You can use the same spool to load both, but if you have two spools of the same color, you can just load them both at the same time and one winds and the other one stitches, okay? Oh, good. I remembered it's not every day, Amy, that I do have a good memory. Okay, so yes, it does have a fantabulous, they call it a precision because it does give good tension. I want to say you can adjust that too. Don't quote me on that because I haven't used it yet. I'm about to with the with the dove or fill. But it does wind and it winds nice. Okay. So one of the things that I love about this, I actually like this machine a lot. Um, it has a 13 inch throat. Let me say that again. It has a 13 inch throat, huge. It also, if you notice the height inside the throat. Okay, so for those of you who are new to quilting and you don't know what a throat space is, it's basically from the needle to the edge of the machine okay so that's 13 inches of space and it's eight and a half inches tall so why does that matter because when you roll your quilt as you're pushing through it if you're quilting there's a lot of space to roll it up in right so that's a that's another added bonus the second thing is guys it stitches at six up to 1600 stitches per minute and i gotta tell you it my my long arm is 18 inch throat but my long arm uh it either does 22 or 2500 i never go the full speed and you ain't never gonna see me do i i put it on full speed and it scared me it's fast okay and it'll go through um the wordage they use is it'll go through most fabrics now that i don't know what it what it won't go through because it goes through minky it goes through canvas it'll even go through leather okay so it's got a nice motor in there 1600 stitches per minute um if you want a straight stitch i'm going to show you what it comes with a little bit in a minute but you can you can just sew with it it has a sewing mode and then it only takes three steps basically to go from sewing to quilting and it's pretty easy <clears throat> you just have to um, change the this is magnetic you'll see it in the future 
but it just slides over and it's magnetic and so it sits there and covers those feed dogs for you um and then you change your foot and i forget the third thing to be honest with you change your foot change the plate i don't know what the third thing is for me there's two um and they give you everything to help you with it it's really cool what they give you so you, it's easy to switch from sewing to quilting now mom you asked if in fact it had a stitch regulator yes ma'am it does what you can't see right now but i do have a picture of it in online if you're in looking at it online it has a little optic encoder so what does that mean okay so basically what happens this is kind of cool guys okay this is really really cool let's say you're going to quilt right you it comes with your foot oh it's behind the machine it's a big one here let me grab it look at the size of this foot super love this okay so when you're in stitching mode or in sewing mode you have your foot and it attaches just by it's just a plug and play you just plug it in it's ready to go okay um but when you switch to quilting mode you can actually take off take out the foot and what will happen is with that optic encoder you're while when you're pushing your fabric it senses how it's pushing so you don't have to push you just push a start button and you go and because of it watching with optic encoder how that fabric's being moved it you don't have to any longer figure out the motion that you need to get the perfect stitches it's going to move the needle as you do okay so the stitches come out really really pretty um you will see me demo that in the future too that'll be fun uh but it does have an optic encoder now if you like using the pedal and you like to have that control you can turn that off and you can just do it yourself okay so that that is a capability for you plain and simple so yes it has a stitch regulator um with optic sensors uh let's see the other thing it has a light this is a cool feature guys it has a light in the bobbin area so you know how like you're looking and you you know it's if it's on the side of your machine if you have one you're like trying to see maybe use your cell phone flashlight how many of us have done that there's a light in there you can see it it's awesome uh and really cool feature is it has it uses the m bobbin which is 90 yards the l bobbin is a little smaller it's bigger than your 15 that goes in your domestic but the l holds 40 yards the m holds 90 yards what yeah true story so you're getting double it's unfortunately you know grace if you're watching this we really want a forever bobbin but i'll take the m <laughs> thank you <laughs> so it does use an m bobbin now it currently is on flash sale suggested retail by the manufacturer okay manufacturer retail suggested price MRSP is $34.99 for this machine okay and currently we have a flash sale and it's $24.99 it's a thousand dollars less right now that's huge okay it's absolutely huge so and there's actually a bundle that goes with the cutie frame okay and so if you're interested i don't have it up online but you can always call the shop and we can talk about it and i can let you know the more details about that uh, because there is a bundle for it so for two days is the flash sale after the flash sale the price goes up okay so that's the 22nd of march is when it ends at midnight okay or 11.59 call it what you will 24 24 99 for this machine and also during the month of march okay any new machine that you buy through grace so we also carry 
currently, well, we can buy any of the machines, but in the house, if you want to see it, we have, um, and you'll see videos later when I learn how to use it, but we have the Cunique 16, I have to memorize how these, X Elite in the house, okay? And Eric is working on getting that set up with the cutie frame so that people can actually play with it because we love people to play. Love, love, love for you to come and play. Um, but any new machine right now, you get an extra $500 in, uh, in accessories. What is that? Well, I will tell you for the Little Rebel. Well, actually for any of their machines. Um, which includes a Little Rebel. You get a ruler base. So if you actually have your machine loaded on the on a frame, you can now do ruler work with a ruler base. Okay, this allows you to have more tabletop to to put the uh, rulers on and be able to use either. Well, it has to be on a frame to use this, right? So. To push with the rulers on there it gives you an extra space in there if you have a frame that you can load it into. Okay, so it comes with a ruler base. <clears throat> it also comes with what they call the Quilt Perfect Ruler Kit. I can't say definitively what that is. I think they're feet. Um, they're, I don't know other than that because mine is currently will be arriving either tomorrow or Friday. So I will have more information on exactly what the uh, Quilt Perfect Ruler Kit is. But it, again, they have it for the all the feet that you use on the Kinique machines, you can use on the Little Rebel. Super cool, love it. You also get three sets of needles, uh, two packs of bobbins. So you'll get two packs of M size bobbins. And then four, a four pack of, th of their thread. <clears throat> so that is through March 31st, it's worth $500 of extra accessories that you can get. That's pretty cool. But you might be wondering, well, what in the world do you get with it anyway, right? There's actually quite a number of stuff, but that back there, This is the extension table, guys. <laughs> I took it off because I couldn't fit it on this table back here <laughs> and keeping it on. I usually leave it on, but you do get the extension table. So if this is sitting on your table, then you have a nice, huge extension table to go with it. So you'll see that with it in the future. Um, and one side does fold up so that you can access the bobbin really, really e much easier, okay? Which I think is really nice. That's a nice feature. All right, I'm gonna switch cameras because I will show you just a few more things, although this is only a few, but we'll go through it just for a minute. Wow, good size it is, Mom. It really, really is. Warranty, absolutely limited. Warranty, absolutely. And I gotta tell you guys, <laughs> When it comes to warranties and stuff with Grace, they're just amazing, okay? Um, I got to figure out what's normal because they've always gone beyond for me than what's not normal. So um, I definitely will, oh my, you know, I don't even think... I have that on the website, Mom. I'm glad you asked. Let me write that down because I'll get it up so you can see the warranty information. Mm, pen. I need a pen. I can't use a disappearing ink pen. I won't remember what note I wrote. <laughs> It'll disappear. <laughs> Let me write that down. I'm so glad you asked. Okay. Thank you. But there is a warranty. Okay. Naturally. I mean, Grace is amazing. Just trust me. They are amazing. I mean, you, well, I know. Just trust me. That's a huge statement. So I will definitely get that. I'll get more clarity on that information for you. All right. So I'm going to go back. You don't want to see my notes. Let me just go through just a little bit. Now, remember, it is a straight stitch machine. 
And I did show one of the feet in the video. Okay. But you will also get, um, but this is the one that came already loaded. And this is just a, what the heck they call it? I think they, a straight stitch foot. Okay. So remember, this only does straight stitch. But it does come with a straight stitch foot. This is your quarter inch. And funny story, remember I was showing you the one with the, with the uh, in the video I showed you this one with the guide. Okay. This one is a, is a piecing with a guide, quilting with a guide. I, I don't know how to use this yet because the measurements are different. But what I did want to share, this is the quarter inch foot they have. And when I lay it down, I'm not right on top of this, by the way, it actually does go to the quarter inch. Okay. Um, so I think that's really cool. I haven't used it yet and I'm still going to use a guide because I need to sew straight, but this measures at a quarter. Now, whether or not my fabric tells me I need to move left or right, that's a whole nother story, right? Which I just remembered something I forgot to share with y'all. But it does come with a quarter inch, or they call it a quilter's foot. A quilter's foot with an edge. It comes with the top stitch. It also comes with a zipper foot. I don't know how that works. I've never used a zipper foot. See, y'all y'all can be teaching me. I've never done a zipper yet. But it does have a zipper foot. And it comes with a guide. I, I don't use these typically. Um not the way that they do suggest, but um, it does come with one if you like these things. And then it also comes with your um, regular, um, what do we call this? Quilting foot, you know, the actual, you know, some people call it a hopping foot. Some people call it a embroidery foot. Um, so it comes with one of, your quilting feet okay so that's one of the changes you make when you go into quilting mode is you put this foot on which it sits so different I can't wait to show y'all all right <clears throat> so I'm gonna put these all back it comes in a nice little box for you now I'm just gonna throw them all in there right now I'll, I'll come back and figure it out but in a little thing that tells you which foot is which Isn't that cute now it also comes with that to make that change to quilting that I was talking about earlier this is the plate and there's a little knob, knob back here and this one's very important because that's what it tells the machine when it goes in that it in fact is in quilting mode and that way your feed dogs are actually covered okay now one of the really cool things that I love about what came with this so you get another little box and in this box you have some cable ties in case you put it on a frame you have a thread net in case you need it for, um, you get four thread nets in case you need them for your thread spools. Different spools need that. You do get spool caps, three different sizes. That's pretty cool. This little guy, oh, see my lighting because of the, because of the um, plastic. This little thing, this little tiny little thing is a magnet. So I use this, but my husband, he had some of these little tiny magnets in his garage. So now I have them in my sewing room where my long arm is. And you use this to make sure that your needle is straight when you load it into your machine. Super cool. Love that they gave us one. It's the needle alignment magnet. And it comes with a little card, tells you how to use it. What else do you get? Um, you get some screws. I don't know what they're all for. I haven't gone that far yet, guys. You do get a needle threader if you need one. They do give you one. And of course, a little brush to clean with. You get, um, you get some needles. And then this little doodad you get. So it's important whenever you are learning to, um, well, not when you're learning. Whenever you're quilting with a machine, there's always a distance that it should be between, well, there's, it depends on uh, which machine and who you talk to, but with them, a distance between the foot and the plate. So you slide this underneath and this, and then you push down your 
your foot and that's the distance. So it helps you get the right height. It's a height gauge. Pretty neat, right? I thought that was neato Frito. And then of course you get the, um, the machine and the extension table and all that. Let me come back at you. But lots of, lots of, uh, it's like Christmas when you open this sucker. I'm telling you, it's like Christmas. Um, oh, and they do, they do give you oil. That's nice with a little bottle. So you can refill the bottle, but they do give you that. <clears throat> um, and I did actually get, oh, I had one more thing I was going to show you. Um, a couple of bobbins that were preloaded. That was nice. So I could play. And it was fun because they were yellow which I enjoyed because when I was looking at the stitching, trying to see the, you know, the tension, um, being a different color. I mean, there's a debate on that too, but I could see if there were pokies or what the stitches were looking like. Now it'll be more fun when I load 50 weight in there, but for now it was fun. All right. The other thing I wanted to share with you you do get this really cool thing that has, and all their machines, I think, have this, to be real with you, but it has like a little clip on it. I'm telling you, Grace went out of the park with this. So it's got a thread guide on here, what uh, frame users and all users, when you're starting a new project, a little checklist to go through, How what to do, oh, here, quilting mode, install the quilting plate, attach the ho ho hopping foot, and set the hook height correctly those are what it takes so it is two things i guess the hopping foot gauge was the third kind of sorta but it does give you a little checklist and if you're going into sewing mode what to make sure is happening on the back they have needle information your bobbin case loading i mean it just it has all kinds of stuff that is like you don't have to go back through your manual just to find okay their manual, guys, is wonderful. What I love, it's on a three-ring binder. I could talk for hours about this machine. I really like it. Can you tell? Um, so great pictures, great information, um, absolutely wonderful. But I love it that it's on a three-ring binder so you can put it flat on the table and you don't have to, like, constantly push down on the book, right? Um, yeah, the sheet with quick reference uh, absolutely. I'm coming to you, Sherry. You're going to be over. Zippers are easy. Well, thank you, Sherry. I see your question. I'll be back at you with it. They do have a nice little book that, you know, of course, they're welcoming you to, um, the Grace family because you become a family member with Grace. They're just, they're just like that. Um, it gets you the quick start guide, you know, it's kind of, it's, it's got some useful information. This was cool. Troubleshooting tension for quilters. What? Yeah. A nice little book that they put together. Okay. Lots of information in here. A lot of people have questions about tension. There's some resource for you. And last but not least, and there's other things, guys, but, you know, I could talk for hours. I got a Dreams of Fearless Creatively Come True, a guide for piecing and quilting with your new little rebel machine, refining your skills and exploring your creativity. Super cool idea. Just something is, it's just a little extra something, something to give you a little tips and tricks on how to use that little rebel for piecing and quilting. How cool is that, right? That is so cool. Great, great. I'm telling you, they knocked it out of the park. Ruler foot. Um, I think, Miss Sherry, and I will know by, I think that shipment comes tomorrow. I have another shipment coming on Friday. But I think the perfect, what I call that? The P Quilt Perfect Ruler Kit uh, includes ruler feet. And during the month of March, it's free. But you can always purchase ruler. Any feet that work on Grace machines, like their Cuniques, works on the Little Rebel. So you don't have to second guess that, okay? Um, so it doesn't come with the ruler foot, although I will tell you that that quilting foot has got a thick round on it. Um, I, I would be, I need to measure the actual hopping foot that they have, and I need to see how, that's the other thing, I need to see how it works. Some actually hop a lot. So I don't know actually how that works with this. 
Um, but they do have a lot of really cool ruler feet and um, some interesting feet that I've never seen anybody else do. So there'll be more of that coming down the chain too. So I don't quote me, but I do believe the quilting perfect quilt ruler kit comes with ruler feet so that you can um, use rulers with this uh, machine and it's free during the March month of March as part of their $500 extra accessory pack. That's pretty cool. This is a good month. $24.90, $1,000 off. I'm like, holy moly. Okay. So, whew, yeah. For all that you can't beat that amazing sell price. I know, right? I mean, that's only two days left to do it at $24.99. And then you'll still get the extra $500 accessory pack with it. That's incredible, guys. That's incredible. Now, the month of March, when the price goes up, I don't know... I know what their suggested retail price is. Um, I don't. I don't remember exactly where uh, I put that on the website because I haven't had time to think. We just got this. I haven't had time to think about it. Um, where will be, but it won't be no twenty four ninety nine. I can promise you that. So, uh, great deal for the next couple of days, and it will ship directly from Grace at this time. So we got one in the house and that's this one. So if you're local, come on by, you wanna sit with it. We can sit together and um, play with the little rebel, uh, but it will still ship currently uh, until we get some more in the house uh, directly from Grace. So, and they're wonderful, I'm telling you guys. We do got some other stuff here in the store and they're not loaded yet. Like I said, we do have a long arm. Uh, well, they call it a long arm, Cunique 16X Elite. We got the cutie frame and we um, we got the luminous lights. <laughs> when I get to talk about those, I'll have a story for you. And um, we do have their true cut system. So we'll be doing some fun stuff with that. Uh, there's a lot of neat gadgets because I know a lot of y'all love gadgets. Uh, neat cutting system as a funny story Michael was very I, we had to test it and Michael was very hesitant on using it and now he won't he he only uses it he just loves the true cut rotary cutter and the rulers the method that they use he loves it absolutely loves it so um yes Melissa glad to see you there it is an awesome machine I can't wait to show you the demo when I do it um, I just need to know what I'm doing, but I've already played and I can't even do full speed. As a matter of fact, um, I think there are six speeds. I could look it up in the manual, but you don't want to wait for that. I think there are six different speeds and I have it on the second from lowest. <laughs> I have it one up from the lowest. <laughs> I might even have it on the lowest, but I think I'm one up from the lowest. I think that was too slow, but I can't stitch full speed. I can't. It's too fast. It's a lot. Um, and it has, I think it has 10 different stitch lengths. I think that's what it is. So lots of stuff. You have the queen's, I think that says queen zone frame. Oh, and the 19. Very cool. Very cool, Melissa. Well, you'll have to come on by sometime and, you know, make sure I'm using mine right. <laughs> Give me a little tips and tricks. I have to learn this stuff. So very cool. I did not know that, Melissa. Very cool. Very cool. So just... For people who are new to Grace and the Kinique, uh long arm machines, the number tells you the throat space. So we just talked about throat space today. So they have a 16, a 19, and a 21. So that means a 16 inch, a 19 inch, and a 21 inch. So she has a perfect one. I have an 18 Juki, right? 
an 18 inch throat and the only i would i would be okay going to a 21 but i wouldn't go any there are companies that make them bigger but i i don't have any need to go bigger than that that's crazy huge to me but um 19 is a really it's really a nice place that's a nice um throat space for putting your machine on a frame that's a lot of space you got an inch bigger than I do. That's a lot of space. But so there you have it. That's a lot. That's a, the the little rebel. I mean, you know, I love the name because we all want a little rebel in our life, right? That. So there we have it. That's our newbie. There'll be more coming. Trust me. We have so much stuff. It's unreal. And more fabric. It, the fabric keeps coming. Okay. I mean, that's just inevitable. Uh, this other stuff is just moving along as a quilt shop and becoming more of a place for you to find more of what you need. So yeah, ready to go with that one. Ready to have some fun. But I appreciate, oh, wait a minute, She's, you began, Melissa, with a Grace wooden frame. Oh, you know that's how they started, right? Um, that is amazing. That is so cool. Oh, how heavy is it? I didn't answer that, Mom. It's 26 pounds from my memory. I do believe I heard 26 pounds. So it isn't like my, you know, a five pound machine by any stretch, but it's not a 50 pound machine either. It's 26 pounds. Nice, nice weight to it. Um, oh, see, I see Judy on here. Oh, you can't wait to see the demos. Okay, so I'm getting Facebook for some reason, but not YouTube. That's always fun. Um, so Sherry says, you really like that machine also, especially with the stitch regulator. Yeah, that's pretty cool, isn't it? You love the light feature in the bobbin and the larger bobbin. I, you know, when they told me that, I about fell out of my chair again. You know, I fell out of my chair once on a live. I about fell out of my chair again because that's awesome. I mean, there's nothing I'm holding, you know. I've never had a machine with a lighted bobbin case that's a front loader like this, right? So I'm usually in there with a flashlight and then you got to move it just right, not be in the way, you know. Yeah. <laughs> so I, I'm with you on that one. I'm with you on that one, Andrea. Uh, can't wait to see the demos. Me either. Um, you have the Continuum 2 frame and a 21 Pro, says jo Ju Judy. This is over on YouTube. So... Um, I have a con I think I have a continuum frame too, but mine's a little different because it's specific for the Juki. I don't know if you ha oh, and you said you have a 21 Pro, so mine has purple sides and purple added to it because you know Juki's color is purple, but it is a grace frame. Um, I, I always get confused if I have a continuum or not because I don't really know the name of it. We've looked it up before, but it's it's made for Juki, so I just have to say I have a Juki frame. Does the continuum have an idle bar and a top bar? Not an idle bar. Yeah, that's what it's called. It has a bar to roll the topper on as you're quilting. So the top bar in the back and then a and a, and a uh, idle bar below it. Just curious. You have one of the original. Oh, yeah, I read that one already. So that is so cool that you have an original. Oh, no, that was Andrea. She has one of the original wood wooden frames and she still uses it so melissa and andrea both have it that is so cool if any of y'all get a chance i would love for you to take a picture of it and email it to me i would love to see that that is so awesome so the story goes 30 years ago great is it 30 i think it's 30 oh now i don't remember the years i think it's 30 years ago grace is actually the woman that inspired the whole thing she's the original owner but she owned a quilt shop and she was just seeing something that could be developed to help quilters and her son jim um had like a very inventive brain i want to say he was an engineer but don't quote me on that um, but he actually for his mother designed the wooden frame and um, that's how Grace got started. Wow. Anne also started with a Grace frame and machine. Very cool. 
Very, very cool. I did not know that. I know, I know she doesn't have one now, but that is so cool. Well, I'm excited to play with it. Um, we'll see how that goes. Now I know I can pick y'all's brains. I'll be emailing y'all. <laughs> you bought yours in 2008. Math is hard. That's 16 years ago. Wow. Nancy has one too. Oh, that is so cool. That is so cool. We've got a lot of people with the grace in the local area. That is so neat. Very cool. Well, I'm excited because grace is just, I'm telling you guys, they're a wonderful company. I've been with them for over a decade and it was such an easy step to take to become a dealer because of of who and what the company is about and how they are. Um, just a really, really great company. Oh, and you, Judy got hers in 2020. Oh, during the COVID. There she goes. During COVID. That seems to be the story, right? And I'll have more things too as we come, go along and get more involved, as I get more educated with Grace, because there's a lot more that I don't know. I mean, I'm barely learning. You know, I just got started with this and then the cutie frame and the 16 and the true cut system. But there is a lot more out there. Um, and I, I'm picking up on different things, but I'm going to go to some training so that I can be more educated for you guys and um, be able to help even more uh, for you. That's That's what we do. We give you inspirations to help you through your quilting journey, right? Because you spreading beauty and joy in the world is making a difference. So we just want to walk alongside of you and, and help you do that. So more education will be coming. Uh, you ordered a small one because you could not afford the large one. They were just transitioning. So they sent the largest one. Holy moly. <laughs> oh, pretty cool. That's a fun, that's a fun story there, Andrea. Super love that. So they accidentally sent you um, the largest one. That's fun. That is so fun. And it's large enough to do a king size quilt. Whoo. The automation system is great. Yeah, mine's automated too. And that's also mine's, it's a Grace. It's a Grace product. Um, and I've been using automation since I got struck by lightning. And you're right. The um, QCT, I always have to say the whole thing out loud. It's Quilters Creative Touch. That's their automation system. It is really good. It is really good. Super love it. Fun to use too. Thank you, Judy, for that input. See? That's so wonderful to hear all of, all these great stories. There's a story in every quilt and there's a story with every quilter. Your stories are huge. We love, love your stories. Andrea says, I use a domestic machine with it, but want a larger throat machine. So I am in the market. Spring is coming up. So if I do, if I do not win one, I will check your website out. Well, appreciate it, Andrea. Appreciate it. If you have any questions, you just let me know. You can always call. You know, it used to be we used to worry about long distance, but now with cell phones, you know, we don't even have to worry about long distance anymore. So at any rate, well, this was fun. I, I can't wait to share more with y'all. Um, and, you know, I might I might do some footage with me trying to learn. <laughs> Because there's nothing better than watching people um, oopsie, right? <laughs> but lots of lots of goodies, lots of goodies to include the quarter inch seam, and um, just like when my mother gave me Louise my featherweight two twenty one, had to think about it. <clears throat> See, I'm getting educated on that too. Um, I had to learn how to find that quarter inch. And let me tell you, that's a whole nother animal. I still don't have it perfected. So what I do with that is um, mostly foundation paper piecing right now. 
or crazy quilting or, or you know, things that the, the seam don't matter. Um, because it's a challenge for me to find it just right. But I have some ideas now uh, on just how to do that. Oh, that was the other thing. You know, if you do put the little rebel on one of y'all's frames. So the start stop button is actually down here by the needle. Okay. And that would be hard. I mean, you'd have to always be reaching, right? And if it's way back there. So, you know, you push on a frame. So this is basically it clips onto the frame. It comes with the little rubble. So you clip it on the frame and then you just plug it in to the machine and then it's right there for you. And it has, uh, I can see it has start and stop, but I don't know what the up and down button is. <laughs> More to come. I'm telling y'all, I just got this out. So um, I'm learning, but it does have that feature for you that it'll be on the handlebar. Pretty cool. Love that. So I pulled that out to show y'all and I didn't even do it. There's all, you should see this table. It's absolutely crazy. It's more crazy than normal because I had so much to show you. Um, cause this is exciting. This, this machine is, um, doing leaps and bounds for, um, for those of us who do a lot of our own quilting. I mean, I'm, if I do it on my domestic, I have a six and a half inch throat space and it probably ain't even that tall. So uh, it, it's a challenge. Uh, you can see me do that in various different videos, but it can be done. You don't have to do that, but this machine puts it on a whole new level. It really truly does. And I will tell you, we did talk about, I wanna say it was Amy who mentioned she loves the light in the bobbin area. There also, and you'll see it when I go to do the demo, but there are lights up in the top of the throat space that are really bright. You can see very clearly. And there's a light right at the at, by the needle too. So lots of lighting. <sighs> Thank you. <laughs> Thank you, Grace. <laughs> yes, there is a needle up. And oh, that's what that button is. You're right. That's what that button is. It's needle up, needle down. Thank you, Judy. Uh, yes, yeah, see, Andrea says, yes, it's a challenge for sure. It is. And now, can it be done? Absolutely. So that's why, you know, I told my husband this, I feel very spoiled. Okay. Um, and not everybody can have that. So you will still see uh, me do some things with my singer. Plus my singer has the, this is only straight stitch. So this has my blanket stitch and my zigzag. Those are the those are the three I, I ha that I use the most. I don't know about you guys, but those are the three that I use the most. Um, and I, I play on occasion with some of the embroidery stitches, but only on occasion. Because, you know, when I'm doing like pillowcases and I want a really pretty decorative stitch, yeah, it's a great place to put it. Um, if you do crazy quilting and you want to do some embroidery stitching on the seams, you can use your machine if it has them and just do them in the seams there just to add a little decoration to it. So I do use it on occasion for that, but there's like, there's over 600 stitches in here and I promise you, I don't use that. I, I use three religiously. Now, one question nobody asked, does it come with a walking foot? Not yet, but they are b making one. So it is coming, FYI. I don't know when yet. I haven't had any news about it. Um, I just know that they're working on it. So, great for old eyes. Andrea, you ain't kidding. Now, my eyes aren't old, but I've had cataracts. I was told since I was 30. When I turned 30, they told me I had cataracts. So, I completely, you don't have to be old to have them is my point. Um, so, I understand lighting is huge, um, especially as we age. But, gotta love light. But anyway... That's what I have next week, guys. So yes, I did split this back to the basics with the topper uh, for the sewing machine mat. I did split it in two weeks because this week was 45 minutes long. And look, I had more to talk about. I mean, that's just me, right? I want to, to make sure that you are given the information and it's clear. Um, but next week, we're going back to the sewing machine topper. Uh, the pattern, I've already got it, you know, my notes, because I can, you can make things in your notes all day long, right? And I've been writing the pattern for you guys, so that when we're done, there'll be a complete pattern available for free for a period of time. 
Um, but it, I'm in the process, I'm almost, we're in, I'm in the assembly, of course, and it's like, I, I think I have like four lines left. So that will be ready for you next week. And we will take, we've already cut the fabric, we've already prepped the fabric. Um, I did talk about the quarter inch seam and sewing a straight line. So next week, we're going to put all those things the quarter inch seam and sewing a straight line. I'm going to talk about pinning, um, nesting, all kinds of basic techniques um, to get the topper put together. So that comes next Wednesday and we'll do another live and I'll have something else to share with some new product. Uh, but we'll get that done next week. And I w am going to take this a little further. I want to let y'all know, normally uh, in the past, my basic or beginner series or whatever I called it four or five years ago, uh, I stopped at the topper. Oh, I didn't even make a project. I just stopped at the quarter inch seam. So this one, um, we're making something, right? So I'm actually going to talk about different basting methods where I'm going to base the quilt project. I'm going to go ahead and baste it. Now it's a smaller project, so you know, you're not going to see the big thing. That'll come later. I have to do some of those videos, but I have done them. If you're ever interested, I have done some of those videos um, with larger quilts. So um, we're going to baste and I'm going to quilt with you and then I'm going to bind and I'm going to machine bind like I do all my quilts and I'm doing it on a small project in some ways is good in some ways is bad good because you're just practicing on a small project and it's easy to manipulate bad because you're working on a small project and it can be fun if you when this one's not too small this one's got a little bit of length to it so it, it'll be a lot easier but if you go really small sometimes joining the ends together with the magic way can be tricky um, this one's got enough length i think we're going to be fine but yeah, we love free. Andrea, I used to, back way back, I'm talking, oh my gosh, 15, 20, 20 years? No, it's got to be more than, I don't even want to say how many years. Decades. <laughs> I did Mary Kay. And one thing I learned from them, and I say this all the time, if it's free, it's for me. So I'm with you, Andrea. Yeah, so it'll be free for a period of time. But you can get, as we as I drop these videos, which the next one will be the last one because then, you know, you say quilt is desired, right? So it'll have the full thing on the blog and then I'm going to try and get it formatted so it'll look pretty on a, or I should say prettier because I don't have my daughter with me who is the graphic creative. Um, but it'll be prettier on a PDF file that you can actually download and keep on your system. So you've been there, done that too. I think we all have. And listen, I still wear it. Just saying. Uh, I use I use them religiously for my cleaning. Love them. But anyway, right, we will see you all next week. Uh, same time, same place. 11 o'clock video drop. We will get that topper together. And then we will be live here again at 3 p.m. So all that and then in a nutshell is what that is. I cannot tell you how much I appreciate all of y'all coming out. What is the biggest stitch on the Rebel? Oh, good question, Mom. Um, I don't know what size it is. I don't even know. I'll have to measure. <laughs> Let me see if the manual tells me real fast, because that's a very good question. I don't use the biggest one. Um, man, you are full of great. Oh, here's the warranty information right under. Um, Of course it would be in there, but let's see. Stitch, st stitching, quilting mode, sewing mode, using the seam, sewing, getting started. We don't care about any of that. Preparing a stitch, changing the needle, threading the machine. Uh, I don't know. Let me write that down. I will find out, Mom. I just know I don't use it. I don't think it's a basting stitch. Oh, I don't know. Let, let me find out. Largest size. Uh, 
And you know what? I might as well ask if I'm going to figure it out and learn. And I might have to call my deal, my my dealer. I am the dealer. I might have to call my um, account executive to ask these questions. Largest size, and I might as well ask her what the smallest is if they know. They got to know, right? Good question. So I wrote that down too, along with the warranty info on the on the on the website. That's a very very good point, Mom. So. YouTube been great for covering up them wrinkles. Well, I wish you'd do more of that for me. <laughs> so, yeah. And you'll see more. Mom, you'll watch me stitch with it for sure. But let's get excited about it. Yes. Your 16 has a basting stitch. So it may have one. It might. And it would be good to have a larger stitch because you can put it on a frame and you do based on a frame. Um, you based on the frame. Oh no, cancel that if you, the hoop frames are pre-basted. I don't know, mom, let me ask. Let me ask, because when you load a machine on a hoop frame, you baste your quilts first. So I don't know. I'm going to find out for you though, mom. And I'll let her, I'll let the world know when I find out. Okay. So at any rate, thank you all so much. This has been fun. This has been fun. Man, we should have a new machine every week. We can talk all day long and tell each other stories and plug along and figure it out and have fun doing it. But until next time, guys, thanks again. This is uh, seriously, y'all are great. You've been absolutely wonderful. I'm so happy y'all stopped by. If you're watching the hashtag replay, don't hesitate to drop in the comments. We would love, love, love to see you. But until next time. May you all continue to be inspired, productive, ever so joyful, never stop believing, and never stop making your dreams in quilting come true. We love y'all. Happy quilting. Happy hump day. Whoop, whoop. See you all soon. Now we got to find the button. I got to get better at this, guys, right? <laughs> Oh, that's the wrong button. <laughs> oh, I don't know where it's at. There we go. Here we are. Love y'all. <laughs>